Nestor Cortez is probably one of the funniest pitchers to watch in baseball. A pitcher who can make a batter bust up laughing after taking a strike has got to be quite the character. Whether it's his antics on or off the field, one of which being he made his team get a pet turtle that just kind of hangs around in the locker room, he's a pretty funny gent. Odds are, he'll be the first to tell you he's not the best pitcher in the game. He's good, but he's more so unique. And as this MLB season kicks off, we're going to show you why you're going to want to tune in to all of his starts. Let me make a case for why Nestor Cortez is going to become one of your favorite pitchers in the game and definitely one of your favorites to watch. And when you make it to the end of this video, if you liked it, consider subbing to the channel and maybe even dropping a like. Nestor Cortez is currently a starting pitcher in the New York Yankees rotation. He's a funky freaking lefty and if there's anything people are a sucker for, it's a funky freaking lefty. Sports fans love watching guys who are going to stand out. I mean, who doesn't like seeing someone break the mold a bit every now and again? But I would say baseball has the most player to player variability out of all the top sports. In in some cases, you'll be blessed enough to see a starting pitcher who can just chuck the ball close to or at 100 with a slider sharp enough to solve this boat in half. And then there's Nestor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the brakes there, big fella. Cause it's ad time. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is sponsored by the one and only SeatGeek. Gamers, baseball season is back. And that means you can get $20 off by using promo code SRS at SeatGeek. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes getting tickets simple. I have it on my phone and let me tell you, it's a dream come true. Whether it's basketball, baseball, football, a concert, a festival, or pretty much anything where you sit down, SeatGeek makes it easy to get tickets for it. And they put it all in one place. I recently went to go see a Tyler the Creator concert and let me tell you, SeatGeek was my go-to. They made it easy and gave me the best deal I could possibly find. Speaking of which, SeatGeek wants to make sure you get the best deal you possibly can. So look for the green dots. Green means a good deal, red means a bad deal. Psst, hey kid, you wanna see something cool? Check it out. Use promo code SRS to get $20 off your ticket purchase at SeatGeek. That's SRS to get $20 off your first purchase with SeatGeek. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Ladies and gentlemen, SeatGeek is epic. And if you want to be epic too, use code SRS at SeatGeek. SeatGeek, when it comes to sitting down, they're, they're, they're pretty freaking, they're pretty helpful with that. Anyways, Nestor is definitely the funniest and maybe even most unique player in the game today. I mean, it's not like he's firing balls faster than Amazon would if you took a piss break. His average fastball velocity was in the 7th percentile, an average of 91 miles per hour. But the power he's missing in his pitching, he more than makes up for with the power of his mustache. I mean, I don't even think Thanos could snap that thing away. But Nestor being different isn't limited to just his pitching profile. Baseball is all about timing, Nestor knows this, and when he pitches, his entire goal, more than basically anyone I've ever seen, is to screw up your timing. As Nestor himself puts it, he gets them by surprise. They're not ready, <laughs> just because I get them by surprise. He changes the angle he throws the ball at, he changes the speed of his pitching motion, but most notably and awesomely, he changes his leg kick. Sometimes he'll even do what's basically a double windup. Like, when have you ever seen something like that before? And when he does this, everyone laughs harder than a middle schooler finding out the name of the actor who plays Doctor Strange. Even the batters he's doing it to. Brandon Nimmo, the happiest baseball player in the game today, gets even happier when Nestor does his little thangy thing. Shohei Otani, the 2021 AL MVP and one of the most unreal physical specimens on earth. This is annihilated. Wow. Whoa, no! Also loves when Nestor plays his little mind games on him. He's like that little kid who would always mess around when you play baseball in the backyard, except he does it in front of thousands of people and makes a damn living off it. They say laughter is the best medicine, but this guy uses it as a weapon. Oh, and he's also a speed demon. Look at him go around the bases as a pinch runner. Oh, wait, pitchers don't hit or run bases anymore in baseball. Guess you're not gonna see that anymore. Nestor always keeps hitters and viewers guessing. It's fun to watch him use his brain to his advantage to keep your favorite hitter off balance, but all this wouldn't even matter if Nestor sucked. Imagine if he did all of these antics and wasn't even good. Last year, these made Nestor one of the most effective pitchers in baseball. In his first taste of real big league balling so far, 
he seems to put it all together. Look, 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 look. A lot of red circles on his baseball savant page. That's really good. And a 2.9 ERA. That was about 48% better than the average last year. 10 strikeouts every nine innings pitched. Yeah, see ya hitters. And 2.8 war in just 22 games and 93 innings pitched. That's actually really good. If you take that pace across a typical starting pitcher workload in today's game over a whole season, something in the range of 150 to 160 innings pitched, it'd be about 4.5 war, which is close to all-star level. Imagine watching this mustachioed, time-altering menace step on the mound at the all-star game, contort his body on the mound, and punch out some of the game's best hitters? There's a universe where I could see that, sooner rather than later. Oh, and also, he has an amazing Twitter account. He tweets pictures of himself with a huge head and about how much he wants to meet Eminem. So, you know Nestor is a master at making you smile when he's on the baseball field. He is a walking source of entertainment when he's out there doing his thing. But there's one more reason why all of this deserves your respect. He does it because it's how he succeeds in the big leagues. Nestor is not an overpowering guy on the mound. He's 5'11", 210 pounds, and he throws about 87 and 91 miles an hour. He was already very good at throwing strikes, so his approach became using his strength while basically playing wiffle ball on the MLB mound. He'd always had fun messing around with different arm slots as a younger player. He brought that back in the big leagues, and he's publicly stated that he wants to do this stuff even more. It's creative. It's thinking outside of the box and it's literally tapping into your own childhood nostalgia for your own athletic benefit. This is such a weird yet totally amazing concept. Nestor also understands something that we've talked about and are going to continue to talk about on this channel for the foreseeable future. Maybe even something coming soon. Hitting a baseball is a lot harder than you think. Nestor doesn't necessarily have overpowering swing and a miss stuff, but when he does this, the Yankees actually win more because of it. A major league baseball team worth six billion wins more games because this guy does genius leg kicks on the mound while pitching. So consider tuning into some of his games yourself and watch this man carve up big league hitters while making you smile along the way. This whole thing is kind of beautiful when you put it like this. A pitcher who always throws slow has to come up with a way to survive. Nestor does all this to keep himself in the big leagues, and it's worked. There's a lesson in here for everyone. With resiliency and creativity, you can solve any problem that's thrown your way. Bet you didn't expect us to find a deep meaning in a video about the funniest pitcher in baseball, but here you are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, you know, consider subscribing, dropping a like. And, um, I don't know, follow me on Twitter. That'd be dope. But, um, anyways, yeah, love you guys. I mean, I love doing this. So, have a wonderful day. Peace.